Defenders of Ardenia is a uh, tower defense game with a twist. Uh, the twist is that in addition to placing towers, defending yourself, you also have to send out units and uh, try to take your opponent's um, base down or take the towers down and clear a path for your units to take it down. Fans of the uh, tower defense genre uh, that start playing Defense of Ardenia um, I think will be surprised about the, Im of the impact that uh, uh, the offensive capabilities have. Um, it sort of turns the game around a bit because you can, of course, you need to have your towers in place, but you also need to play a bit of a meta game as you see what your opponent puts up. What, what tower does he have? What unit does he send? So you have, there's more information going on. So it's both a, it's equal parts thinking and being uh, quick with your reflexes to, to beat this game. The resource you use in Defense of Ordania is uh, is uh, mana you build up um, and that is it, it, re it replenishes over time but you can also get extra if you accomplish certain tasks like having units reach uh, your enemy's uh, stronghold uh, this resource is used to build towers uh, build units and send them out and of course use spells spells uh, add another dimension to defenders of Ardenia. Um they are expensive to cost they are fairly powerful but since they drain your mana a lot you have to be careful when you use them. Um, a really cool thing happens when, when your opponent thinks you're low on mana, sends some strong troops and you blast them. Or you can really bolster your troops using spells to get through a, a passage that the, your opponent doesn't really sus uh, suspect that your, your troops will survive. But you shield them and they go through. And when that happens it's, it's wonderful. Uh, but it's a sort of a, a two-edged sword because when if you get nervous or, or twitchy and just cast spells, you'll run out of mana and can, can't build towers and not send units and you're in a, you're in a bit of a pinch. Defenders of Ardenia will be enjoyed by uh, anybody who likes to uh, spank their friends in a good RTS game. Uh, especially one where thinking and reflex is uh, sort of equally important. It has, a, it has a single player portion, which is really cool where you learn the ropes and, and I think a lot of people have lots of fun, but it's in the multiplayer, I think, where it really shines, where you have a thinking, mean uh, opponent that really want to hurt you. Um, the biggest challenge of de developing Defense of Ardenia has been balancing the three factions. You have the underworld factions, mostly undead and demons. You have a nature faction with a lot of beasts 